We've rebuilt our military. We've restored the arsenal of democracy and enacted the largest increases in our national defense since the days of Ronald Reagan. And with the support of our allies in Congress, we're once again giving our soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, Coast Guard, and Guardians the resources and the support that you need to accomplish your mission and defend this nation. And we also provided the largest pay increase in the last 10 years, and you deserve every penny. Now, let me say none of that would have been possible without the strong support of leaders in the Congress of the United States. And here at Fort Drum, it's important for me to tell you, none of that would have been possible without the strong support of Congresswoman Elise Stefanik on the Armed Services Committee of the House of Representatives. Would you join me in thanking Congresswoman Stefanik for her strong support for Fort Drum and our armed forces? Our military is now better equipped, better supplied, better trained than ever before. We've upgraded our tanks, our artillery, our rocket systems. We've bolstered our fleet of attack helicopters and fighter planes. And with that strong commitment to our national defense and a willingness to use American power to advance American interests, our allies have stepped up as never before. Since 2016, our NATO allies have increased their contribution to our common defense by more than $130 billion.